Hi all, how are you? Welcome back to Arith, a way for searching knowledge. Today we are going to learn the characteristics of managerial economics. Okay. So, first one of the characteristics from uh, managerial economics is that is microeconomic nature. We already learned that in uh, managerial economics, we are just considering individual level or uh, a firm like that. We are just considering not the whole economy as well. We are just considering one of the factor from that economy. Okay, we already learned that. Okay, so the first point says that it is microeconomic in nature. The problems of a particular firm here in managerial economic, we are just we are just looking forward the particular problems of a part, uh, of a particular uh, firm, okay, or a particular uh, consumer or particular individual itself, okay. So here it's called microeconomic in nature. Then the second one is theory of firm or uh, economics of firm. All the economics theories. Just we know that there were a lot of uh, economic theories. Okay, uh, you know, one thing um, in each college they have separate department called economics. Okay, uh, in our Safi also they they have um, in uh, a department called economics department. Okay, so all the economic theories the uh, what they studies. Uh, okay, all the economic theories concept and economics models known as theories of firms or economics of firm okay they're studying a lot of theories principles and concept this kinds of theories concept and economic model is called theory of firms or economics of firm okay are studied in managerial economics also okay in economics they were studying a lot of theories a concept and economic models okay this uh, concept theories and economics models we can call it as theories of firm or economics of firm okay so uh, we can call it as theories of firm or economics of firms and we we want to utilize this kinds of economic theories and concept and principles in our managerial economics too so that's why it's called we are using the theories of firm and economics of firm okay Be just it means that we are just using the economic theories and principles and concept that's it okay then we are moving toward the next that is importance of macroeconomics too we already learned that in managerial economics we are just considering an individual level firm or um, an individual level uh, individual personalities or um, mm, we are just considering an um, one one uh, factor from whole the economy okay but here uh, you know that uh, we are our business is considered that assuming that it's a business so a business operate just like in home okay so can i remove it okay Okay, assuming that this is a factory. Okay, so uh, this is a firm. A firm operates with a different kind of surroundings. You know that a firm operates with a lot of surroundings. Uh, here we can see the political influences. Here we can see economic influences. Here there were the consumers, suppliers, there were a lot of environment which will influence a firm. And also very important one is government also influence this business. Okay, so how the government will influence the business? Government making a lot of policies in each year. So, this will influence the firm. You know that uh, in uh, previous years, uh, we are introducing GST. Okay, it's a new concept to the firm. So, they will, uh, this kinds of policies will influence them. Okay, so here uh, we are meaning that 
a government level a government level or a central government is in a macro economic macro economic okay so a firm wants to export their product to an other country other country they want to export into an other country so they will make a lot of export import policies okay for that purpose so when a firm want to export the product to an other country he want to follow the government policies on export and import policy right so like this a firm itself is surrounded by a lot of economic policies it may be governmental policies export import policies fiscal policies monetary policies like that a lot of policies were there then they will influence this kinds of policies this kinds of policies are part of macro economics okay thus all kinds of policies are the part of macro economics so here what i would like to say that in managerial economics we are giving an importance to macro macro economics too we learned that managerial economics is micro economic in nature but in reality macro economic factors also influencing the managerial economics okay like the lot of policies regarding um, in each business cases uh, you know that for to controlling the uh, inflation or deflation our uh, government uh, were taking uh, so much policies on the physical policies and also rbi also uh, for to regulating this control of inflation and deflation they were taking lot of policies on um, monetary policy like monetary policies sorry like monetary policies okay so uh, for to controlling this kinds of uh, supply level of cash okay so what this kinds of all the policies regarding the fiscal policies and also monetary policies are the part of macro economics this will influence the single firm also that's why we can call it as it's have more importance to macroeconomic macroeconomics too okay just you should understand that macroeconomics factors also influence the managerial economics that's it okay then fourth one is applied approach applied approach okay managerial economics analysis good or bad effect of various decision on the firm so business economics is not not a theoretical subject but a subject of practical utility we already learned that in managerial economics we are using some kinds of economics theories for to making decision in the business so here it's not a theoretical subject managerial economics is a practical subject we are just using the managerial uh, economic sorry we are just using the economic theories for to taking decisions we are applying the theories we are just applying the economic theories to solve our problems that is why this is called as it's an applied approach okay that is practical it's have a practical application we are not just trying to learn some kinds of economic theories in it we are just applying this the- this kind of theories to work the solving a problem that's it we are just moving toward the other characteristics of managerial economics fifth one is perspective in nature perspective in nature means managerial economic tell us what should be done and what should not be done in a particular situation we are using different kind of economic theories and principles through this 
we can analyze a particular problem and it will tell us is it beneficial for uh, us to do or to take such kind of decisions okay that's why it's one of the character is perspective in nature managerial economic tell us what should be done or what should not be done in the future in a particular situation okay then we are moving toward the other characteristics that is decision making at managerial level we know that managerial economics is a combination of two words managerial and economics managerial means to take decision we already learned that so here managerial economics uses some kinds of economic theories towards solving a problem towards solving a particular problem okay it's a practical subject we are not learning some theories in it we are using in managerial economics we are using economic theories towards solving a management problems okay so here we can just go through its a uh, brief explanation decision making at managerial level managerial economics is a practical subject it is not a theoretical subject it is a practical oriented subject because we are just using the economic concept towards solving a problem is a practical concept okay and its main objective and function is to help the management in formulating suitable business policies okay here managerial economics means help the management to solve the business problem and also to create some kinds of business policies okay then the seventh one is coordinating in nature coordinating coordinating managerial economic provide the business managers practical and theoretical solution of their business problem coordinating in nature here it means that we are using economic concept to solve problems to solve problems so both this concept both this concept coordination is called managerial economics the coordination of both the theoretical aspects as well as the practical aspects is in there in managerial economics that is why it's called coordinating in nature okay it's a coordinating subject we are just coordinating the economic concept and also its practical application through using economic theories okay so it's a combination of two words one is economics and one is managerial managerial means to take decision so economics is a theoretical concept managerial uh, to take decision as a practical concept through managerial economics we are trying to coordinate both the theoretical concept toward a practical concept okay practical aspects okay then the next one is both science and art you know what do you mean by science science means body of knowledge body of knowledge systematic body of knowledge is called science what is art art means we are using this kinds of body of knowledge toward a particular situation by analyzing the situation is called art so here managerial economics is both science and also art how it became a science because in economics you know there were lot of concept and theories 
so we can call it as managerial economics as a science because we are using lot of economic concept principles and theories in it in that way it became science okay how the managerial economics became art in managerial economics different kinds of economic theories we are using in different situation okay so it's an different aspect when uh, you have knowledge but you were not using it it's not art when you analyze a particular situation and when we use and we find out the solution for that particular problem it became art so in this way managerial economic becomes art as well as science okay so we moving toward the next that is is a complementary subject here it means that it is a multidisciplinary subject in managerial economics we are using some kinds of mathematical theories mathematical concept or statistical concept operational research concept lot of concept were the we are using i think you already learned management science in previous uh, sorry you were not learned it but you will learn it in the third semester okay so uh, a lot of other kind of disciplines a lot of other kind of subject were also using in managerial economics that is why it's called it's a multidisciplinary subject or it is a complementary subject there were lot of subject were using in this that's why it's called complementary subject or multidisciplinary subject were used in the managerial economics i think we learned all the points of characteristics of managerial economics i think it's clear for you if uh, you were not uh, clarify your doubts uh, you can um, send a voice message or uh, you can ask at any word, at any time you can contact me okay so i think uh, it's cleared well if you have any doubts please contact me have a good day thank you